Hi there, Thack from Thack Ironworks. How are you today? Welcome. Uh, it is two days before Christmas and after a flurry of activity this morning, I finally think I'm on top of everything. I think I've got all the stuff done, all my commitments in place. Um, and Eric and I are just uh, spending a quiet afternoon here at the shop doing a little bit of house cleaning and kind of reflecting back on things. And we just wanted to do a quick video and uh, just talk about our year past. So we started doing videos basically New Year's Day, I think, or the day after July, January 2nd, um, and started making videos for the channel. I had the channel in place, and I think last year we started out at 400 subscribers, the less than 400 subscribers, and we just surpassed 4,000. We might be at 4,100 or something now. So pretty phenomenal growth, 10 times um, what we started with. So the channel is growing quite well. We put a lot of effort into it this year and we've done a bunch of videos. I think we're, we did maybe about 60, 65-ish videos this year and uh, are very grateful with the support that we've gotten from you, our viewers. And we're getting a lot of comments and stuff like that and that's help, helping us direct uh, the way the channel is going. And a couple of uh, things that we've come up with, I guess, is that we were early on thinking that we could get some really uh, flashy bills that might go viral and, and get us a million views or something like that. And I think we're over that whole thing now. Um, and we've just noticed in the last month or so doing some original content that we're getting really strong numbers with that. And we seem to be um, generating um, an organic, uh, fan base just based on making stuff that I think is cool and, and stuff that I really like to do and I think showcases the type of skill set that I have. So we are planning on doing more stuff like that and we're less focused on actual numbers now. We think we've got um, a good, just a good strategy for the way that we're developing the channel now and we're making content that um, I really like and it seems that uh, you guys like it as well based on the feedback that we're getting. One last stat that Eric just pointed out, we've had almost 10,000 hours of watch time on our channel this year. So again, we're just overwhelmed with the amount of support and the, and the interest um, with the stuff that we're doing. Now, moving forward into 2020, we've got a lot of plans and uh, I'm pretty excited about a bunch of things that we're working on. Early in the new year, I want to do a video making a muscular breastplate, which is something I've done quite a bit in the past and not something that we featured on the channel yet. So that is one, like a hoplite um, bronze breastplate is, is something we want to do early in the new year. Also, as my skull video was very uh, popular, for a forged one and I would like to do a repose skull and that's something that I plan to do early in the new year as well. Also, we've got an exciting thing that's kind of coming up and what led me into that, I'll just show you. I decided this Christmas that I was gonna make Christmas gifts again, which I haven't done for a long time. So I've got four grandchildren and I decided I was going to make them hooks here and I'll just set these down on the Anvil and Eric can come in on a close-up on that while I talk. So my grandkids are still very young, so I figure I might as well make them something at this point before they really latch onto the whole consumerism and then I start demanding that I spend money rather than make them things. So I thought I could get away with it yet this year. Um, and really what inspired it is the fact that I've been doing a, a bunch of videos doing sculptural blacksmithing, which is something I really haven't done a lot of um, over the last few years. And as I got into it, it's just kind of rediscovering it and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And want to do some more videos on that. So um, I was just kind of inspired to do that. So I came up with these different uh, figures here uh, based on the personality of the kids. But things like the moose head and the unicorn um, got me thinking about chess sets. And then I started looking at all the uh, heads that we've been doing here. I did Cthulhu there and it's like, what are we doing? To, what do I make this thing into? I, always, I like functional sculpture. So what am I gonna actually use this for? And it just kept kind of reminding me of a, a chess figure. Um, and I just thought, you know, I could do that, but it's like to do a whole chess set, that's a pretty involved process. There's a lot of pieces there, but I uh, started looking at my little rack here, just <laughs> test pieces. Here's another one. This will be an upcoming video. I'm gonna do a vulture head. So I'm just kind of playing around 
with some designs there. So I just got looking at my little rack here where I've got pieces. This is this um, kind of Polynesian tribal turtle head that I did a couple years ago. A goat. And you know, it's just all kinds of stuff. And I'm thinking this would make a really bizarre, eccentric, mismatched sort of chess set. So this is what I've come up with. Here's my idea. So I'm gonna do a series of videos doing forged heads of all kinds of different things. And they are all gonna be made into chess figures. And I'm going to, um, with, in about six months, make a entire chess set. That's the idea and I'll make the chess board as well. Just found out this week that I've been asked to teach at CanIron, which is Canada's blacksmithing event and that's happening in Fergus which is not too far from me so I'll be doing some teaching there so I've decided it might be a good idea that gives me a good deadline I think that's the end of July that that is happening uh, that maybe I could have it set up there this chess set as a display and perhaps have a chess game then I also thought then we could also do some sort of online uh, chess game not sure how that will work Eric is more of a gamer and he he has some ideas of maybe we could make it as a, a chess game that you, the viewer, could team up and be involved with. Um, also thinking a lot of pieces on a chess set, so I'm maybe gonna uh, reach out to you, my viewer, and ask if you would be willing to make some pawns and uh, some really cool things. Gary Houston, who has been uh, giving me shout outs and sharing my videos and, and actually giving me a lot of support lately. I think I'm gonna ask him to create one of his little snails. I've been watching his videos and he's got this snail that he does. And I, that would make an excellent pawn piece and hopefully he will contribute that. That would be a really cool thing. Um, check out his videos, by the way. Check out his channel. The guy's an awesome smith. And anyway, that is my game plan. I wanna do that. I've got a couple of figures in mind right off the hop that I'd like to do. A viewer suggestion, I forget the name but anyway you mentioned Eddie from Iron Maiden that uh, motif which I thought that would be awesome so that one I'm quite excited to do and I think I will do that uh, early in the new year as maybe as the, the first video in this series for the chess pieces I might actually pull in some of the ones that I've already done um, and include them in the set as well but there we have it you notice I'm wearing my fact t-shirt and that is a not so subtle hint for you to Get on Teespring and order a t-shirt because that is the only way at this point that you can really support our channel. Another thing that we are doing in the new year is getting into Patreon, trying to figure out exactly what we're going to do. We've been procrastinating about that just because we know it's going to be a lot of time and effort to set up something and we're still trying to figure out um, a scenario that that would be suitable for that format um, that people would get, you know, the biggest bang for their buck, so to speak. Well, I guess that's about it. I'm gonna sign out now. So happy holidays, everybody. Hope you have a great one. And we will see you in the new year. See ya!